Hello, it's been ages since I uploaded a diary. Things are happening, so I thought I would say something uh, in between times, like the last video and this one. Um, I feel as if the world has been in lockdown. So um, me going rabbiting on about my personal experience of lockdown wouldn't help anybody and wouldn't... I just felt like everybody knows what's going on. Why should I say anything? Maybe I should have. I don't know. Um, but me personally, I've been through every stage of, of emotion and everything else that you can imagine. It, it kind of some goes, it seems to have gone in chunks, you know, a couple of weeks of this, a couple of weeks of that, all over two months. Uh, sometimes in, in one day, I'll experience everything. And that is happy, sad, depressed, um, busy, I don't know, and not, not thinking about it. Just, just, you know, different things on different days. Um, you know, like every Monday I go to the supermarket, so that day's different and, and, and things like that. So I just feel maybe you're probably going through the same thing as me anyway, because most of the world is, but either way, um, that's me. Um, now what's going on in Spain? Well, um, hmm. So my, my problem is this. I watch an English speaking international news big thing and, uh, they, they they report something, but it's basically what the government tells them. It seems I don't know, but anyway, they're not they're not really saying about talking about what's actually going on. So I thought, well, I'll say something um, because what's going on is pretty disgusting, to be honest with you. Um, that what I've heard on the TV has been that um, in those parts of Spain least affected. I'm trying to quote from memory about half an hour ago. So from those parts of Spain least affected by the thing that's going on, um, they are now, they have bars, cafes, restaurants open and things like that. Um, people are allowed to go to these places in groups of 10, that sort of stuff. But I, I don't know where this is. I, I know it's it's out there, somebody is, but um, it's kind of... Uh, I don't know. It, it's out there, but I don't. It's not. I don't think it's very much. I think basically those places least affected might have been told they can open, but people are not opening. There's no the, the cafes and bars and things more or less staying closed, as far as I know. Um, where I live, I'm in um, in uh, it's called Pozuelo, and it's right on the edge of of, uh, of Madrid, on the the sort of commuter belt, if you like. Um, so um, I live here and the uh, area is called the community of Madrid. Um, and that is kind of like the county of Devon. Yeah, so it's the community of Madrid. It's, it's, it's a big place, big region of Spain. And so that is, that's still in lockdown, that bit. Uh, I know Benidorm, Benidorm, not Benidorm, Barcelona is. Um, but I know there, there are lots of other places. You know, it's, it's not, it's pockets, I think, that are, Anyway, um, I've seen uh, hairdressers open, but I've only seen like one person cutting a hair, one person having a hair cut. I've never seen more than that in there, but I don't go out very much. So uh, maybe there's been more. I don't know. Nothing, no like cafes, bars and stuff. And none of that is open here. It's everything looks the same. It's closed. Nobody's outside except for everybody is allowed to go for a walk. And um, I think it's like an hour. And uh, you have, uh, I think it's six till, oh God, I always forget, six, I think it's six to 11, you're allowed out. And you're allowed out again from nine until 11, something like that in the evening. Because everybody here, they have, the evening meal is eight. So to go out at nine is just to go out after tea, if you like, or after the evening meal. So it's, it's sort of like that. You get a couple of hours in the evening. And then the bit in between is um, the right, those people in at-risk groups, which is me, and old people. That's sort of how it works. So I'm allowed out. I've been out once, and that's all. Um, in all this thing, people are really fed up with it and protesting to the government every night. And it's, they, they stand on a balcony and they bang pots and pans, and that's their way of doing it. That's a, like usually that seems to happen about nine in the evening and eight in the evening. Everybody goes out onto the balcony and they clap for the health services. It's like that. Although the clapping for the health services has dropped a lot. It's not a lot of people doing it now. Um, 
and um, maybe the protest is not so bad. But anyway, people are crazy, and it is scary. Um, for example, on Sunday, uh, was it? Su- I don't know. Sunday or Monday? The um, there was one part of the city of Madrid where all these people were out walking, and nobody was maintaining social distancing. So the police had to tell everybody to go home. <laughs> this is this is what it's like. Is people are not doing the social distancing thing. Um, I go to the supermarket. You've got people working there. They wear masks, but they don't all cover their noses, you know, and nobody seems to care. Um, people uh, at the supermarket, uh, the shoppers are getting too relaxed, so they're getting too close to me and I have to move away. And it, 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 some are okay, some are not. Some are very scared. Some just don't care. Um, some people just carry on like normal. And it's... It, it, frankly, it's just disgusting the way people are behaving. I cannot tell you. It, it's so hard to give examples. Oh, here's one. Here's one. I can't say who this is. Okay, but it's let's say somebody very close, and this person um, went to. It's called a private party. Now these things are going on in a lot of places. Private parties. Okay, they they, they get invited to a home about ten people, something like that in this particular example, they go there and they don't, they're illegal, but they don't tell anybody and all this stuff. So it's all right. And everybody's that goes is in isolation. So who cares? We're fine. Well, this person went and the next day he got a phone call to say one of the other people who went has the virus. So um, now he's got to have a test and everybody went, but you know, this is the, these things are are happening. Um, The young people, um, I haven't seen it, but it's been reported that Young people in my area, this is was particularly bad. Young people going outside in groups um, in the evenings, and they're having parties. I know adults are having parties. People are going to each other's home when they're outside. They're not keeping the distance. They're they're not too bad actually. The time I went out for a walk, I didn't think it was so bad, but apparently this is what's happening. Is people are not maintaining social distancing. So the government says. The government's slow to let people go out a bit more and do more things. And, and especially in, and you look at the places which that are not allowed uh, to open, they, they, they are like here, like Madrid, where there's a lot of people living close together. And if people, maybe if people would like keep a distance, the government would, ha- would open more things and then they'd have to protest a bit less. But it's really, it's, it's scary really it is i'm angry and and i just hate it and every night i speak to my wife on the phone we have a long chat and every night she's she's so scared she's right in the center of the city where it's the busiest you know you can't get busier than there and it it is just because people in people in in madrid they live in flats um every it's a spanish thing to live in a flat um and then they they live in a flat but they live so if you go into like the centre, where are the busiest streets in the centre of London, you've got offices and things like that. And then at night, it's all quiet. Here, not only you've got flats where those places are, you go upstairs and it'll be flats there and so on. So um, it's, it's uh, people live right in the busiest districts. And that's where my wife is. You know, she, we've got a dog. She's taking the walk out. I used to go for a walk two or three times a day. Um, Sometimes she takes uh, the dog. Sometimes somebody else takes the dog. But when you go out with a dog, all these people that are out going for their evening walk, yeah, they're, they're all coming up to the dog. Oh, isn't he cute? And they're stroking the dog and all this. So one strokes the dog. What happens next? Somebody else comes along. They stroke the dog. And what can happen is the virus will go from one person to the next person because they're not wearing masks either. And you go to the supermarket, you get, they give you, gloves to wear plastic gloves so that you're not touching something and then somebody else touches something and and all this stuff but then they go out and they're doing the dog so then the dog goes on and the dog has to be washed because everybody's been touching the bloody dog and it's it's difficult to stop people but my wife said i'm gonna i'm gonna she said right i'm gonna print a thing i'm gonna put it on my back and something like you might not care but i do stay away from me keep your distance and the dog too something like that to put you know a piece of paper on the back and uh, it's just people are just being disgusting the dog 
My mother-in-law, by the way, what she's doing, she's going to the country. The, the family have owned a farm. And there's a couple of the brothers are, are, are there now, and they have been in the lock, during the lockdown. Now she's allowed to travel. She can travel out of the city. So she's going to go to the farm. And, uh, and, and she'll be there for, she could be there for months. But the dog's going with her. Cause, and then the dog will, the dog is so bored. He's, he's, not, not, he's not himself anymore. He's changed. Because he's not allowed to, to associate with other dogs. Um, he goes for short walks he's just so bored and so he's different so he's going off to the country he'll be able to run around without a lead go out in the fields and all this stuff he'll have a lovely time so that's great for the dog great for my mother-in-law wife's coming back here is better here than in the city where it's just I, I would never I would never go to the city you might as well go to a, a busy airport without masks and sit next to everybody really close and that's what you got in the city and uh, so police are getting panicking and it, it's just hell now i'm sorry um there's a lot of complaining going on here but um it really is that bad and i just wish they'd talk about that on the tv when i watch the news they don't know it, it's so scary i'm not going to go outside um but when my wife comes back we will actually <laughs> we're, we're then i'm going to start going for a walk most days in the morning probably i don't know i'll try it but it's i don't know what to do really i'm here i don't know what to do so i put my mask on i go outside i go to the shop every monday zip nada nothing else uh, and uh, i really got no incentive to go out and stuff like that and all i've got is something scaring the hell out of me um thank god i can stream thank you thank you people for watching you have absolutely no idea i wish i'd said this at the start because most people will be won't be watching by now but yeah i mean you have no idea the difference you made to my life is i mean it would be i can't say you saved my life but you saved my emotional life we kept you keep me sane through all this isolation and completely loneliness and all this stuff and you haven't really said very much apart from a few of you but you, you didn't need to it, it's just amazing my wife talks about it how great you know how was you every day she says how was the stream how was vampy is eric cassidy okay and all these you know uh, and, and all these she knows the names of some of the people and she says is emily still being a pain in the ass no just kidding but <laughs> But, but you know so yeah you 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 are you have been my life for a couple of months um every day for a long time and i'm getting more viewers but to me the important thing is somebody's out there and listening to me yap 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 and it means i'm not alone and i hope you realize you're not alone too and i do talk about you to my wife and you're part of our online group if you like both of us and uh uh, so um, that's it for now I'm not going to say anymore I'm sure I could rabbit on forever you know me but uh, it says 13 and a half minutes on my timer so I'm going to stop now sorry this wasn't scripted it's very much spared a moment sorry for the blabbing I'm going to process this get it upload, uploaded and stream PS sorry for the really crap picture there <laughs> that you got in the background but uh, I can't be bothered See ya.